Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this fr finally Friday, September 1st, 2023. First day of September. Goodness, 12.35 p.m. California time. Latest activity on the globe looks like a 3.5 over here around Turkey. Also seeing some movement here around the Papua New Guinea area with a, um, a 5.3 earthquake. 3.5 over here in Turkey. All right, so what do we got here? 116 kilometers deep for this earthquake. Seeing a little bit of adjustment out there today in our quiet zones. Papua New Guinea was one of them. Also up around the Sumatra area northward. That area did see a, looks like a 4.8 earthquake as well. Just over an hour ago, back prior to the uh, plate boundary itself. So could be some strain building up here around the... Uh, subduction zone itself down here across Samoa, Samoa area and the Tonga region a handful of smaller earthquakes uh, looks like some of that from yesterday and a little bit from today mostly uh, moderate to deep earthquake activity in this region not a whole lot going on through the the uh, New Zealand area currently just watching that still far as the west coast california goes let's go ahead and run over here real quick see if we got anything major going on across southern cal got uh, looks like a 2.0 near the mojave area but overall general earthquake activity has been light out here across the area of the west coast 2.5 and above most of this activity here in fact all of it was from yesterday we did have a couple two pointers above that 2.5 threshold so uh as you can see, it was slightly elevated yesterday, but today, mostly microquakes out here around the bay and also northern California. What about the Mount St. Helens area? Looks like uh haven't added any further quakes on since the 1.6 from last night. So let's uh, double check and see what we got here. Mount St. Helens seismograph station here. There's that one 1.6 from yesterday. Got to go to the graph so we can see if this is uh, being accurately reported or not. And well, let's see here. What do we got? Is that from last night? And 19, I believe it is. I believe that's going to be that 1.6 from last night. That looks about right. For the time frame here, 22.30 or something like that, 10.30 at night. <clears throat> really haven't seen too much as uh, far as that type of magnitude goes. But uh, again, looking at the, um, the amplification here of the seismograph stations there, they look pretty flatlined, meaning <clears throat> even the smaller quakes here may not even show up. Uh, so we'll have to check that a little bit later on, see if we got anything... Um, to chat about there all right uh, the rest of the country scattered activity across the region today kansas getting in on some well, looks like some small earthquake activity after midnight 2.6 and the new madrid seismic zone couple small ones out there from yesterday and from today nothing major going on same for about the uh puerto rico area and the south america region getting uh Handful of uh, deeper, well, actually, this is pretty shallow here, this 4.4 at the surface area, 10 kilometers deep, Argentina region. Down here in the South Sandwich Trench, we did see a 5.1 early this morning, it looks like, 3 o'clock local time here, 35 kilometers deep, and a little bit of movement further up north into the Atlantic with that 4.4 out around the Greenland Sea from yesterday, 10 kilometers deep. Anything major going on across the uh, Mediterranean? Um, there we go. Aside from that 3.2, looks like general activity out there today. Not really seeing anything major uh, kicking up. What about the big island of Hawaii? Let's go out here and see what we have here real quick. Looks like some of this earthquake activity uh, from today and uh, a little bit from yesterday. I don't think we're uh, looking at anything major changing yet. Just been uh, kind of neutral in terms of uh, earthquake activity. Been coming and going, and that's about it. Uh, the latest information here shows that Kilauea Volcano is not erupting. This is put out today, early this morning, Hawaii time. 
Uh, it's still showing some earthquake activity, but uh, these earthquakes are occurring at about uh, one to two miles below the surface. With no upward migration detected, we would see the earthquake swarm get shallower and shallower as it makes its way, the magma makes its way towards the surface, but it's just not doing that currently. So we'll just kind of continue to watch that and see how it plays out. Uh, Alaska, about the same as yesterday here. It looks a little quiet, actually. Not a whole lot going on there through the region. So we'll see how today, uh, see how it plays out. A couple areas to watch. Of course, the New Zealand area really hasn't caught up yet. Uh, areas around the Mariana Trench, Izu Trench may see some movement here soon. All right, space weather activity. Let's jump into that real quick. There's our proton event from last night. Uh, I believe that was stirred up from that uh, M flare that kicked off. Um, Kevin updated this. A long duration M flare was observed. This was yesterday. The event propelled an impressive coronal mass ejection uh, into space. And as a result, a minor S1 radiation storm is currently in progress. That's due to the uh, uh, charged protons there. Looks like maybe, I don't know, I, I, I was pretty far out there on the western limb, but maybe we could get a glancing blow from that uh, from that CME that kicked off last night. We'll have to see how the uh, the update goes. Looks like on the uh, September 3rd time frame, UTC, could see a G1 class storm. So this was not earth directed totally, but uh, we might just barely get a little glancing blow. Most of the time when that happens, I don't get my hopes up there because it's just too far out there. It was way out on the western limb. All right, things uh, a little bit quieter far as solar flaring goes for now. We're below the sea flare category. Uh, looking at the current 3413. Uh, this is a magnetogram image, a current one over here, 3413. The one that produced the M flare yesterday and the proton event today is uh, getting further out there on the western limb. And still looks fairly complex, though. Might see some more flaring from this individual sunspot, but uh, again, as you can see, it's pointing a ways away from Earth. And we're left with uh, many dying sunspots here on the eastern uh, quadrant of the sun. It's just not looking all that impressive at all. And uh, quite frankly, I don't see anything coming up around the bend either, as far as any active regions. 75% uh, chance for C flare, M flare, 25% chance, X flare around 5%. Uh, so we continue to watch that. Uh, weather today, slight chance of thunderstorms out here where I live. It's actually woke up and it's cloudy. Only supposed to be about 75 degrees today here. It hasn't been that cold in quite a while. Uh, chance of rain out here as well. Uh, there's a slight chance of uh, severe weather out across portions of Nevada. Utah and Arizona, mainly due to uh, just some wind and potential for some hail. But aside from that, not a big weather threat out there today. A uh, glance here at the Northern California area that may see some rain. Actually, we're already seeing some rain up here in the mountains of uh, right around the Trinity Mountains, Shasta area. Also seeing some rainfall as well. That's due to a low pressure system developing and spinning just here around Northern California that will fire up some thunderstorms, it looks like. Um, later this afternoon, notice that little line of storms right there kicking up. And yeah, like I say, Chico has a little shot of seeing some rainfall. We'll just see how uh, it plays out. Either way, you know, it's, it's a lot cooler out today, so I'm thankful for that. <clears throat> Let's check out the windy map here. As uh, far as radar goes out here in Northern California. Um, weather radar. Have a little bit of rain here outside of Redding. And uh, it's just been sticking mainly up into the mountain area. But uh, again, we could see some uh, thunderstorms out here today. Let's check out the Cape values. This is right now. A little bit later this afternoon, down south, obviously, that's where the big uh, massive amount of thunderstorm activity is going to be. But for us here in Northern California, it looks like we may see a little bit of convection 
with this right around Red Bluff, there's some high Cape values kicking up there late afternoon, early evening. With that south wind and moisture kind of funneling up with the low pressure system here, perfect environment for some thunderstorms up there. That will diminish overnight, and then uh, I think tomorrow, Saturday, <clears throat> not a whole lot of thunderstorm potential out there. But either way, some cooler environment conditions out here due to that uh, low pressure system out here. Uh, let's look at the long range model, see what we got for the assembles. There's that low pressure parked over Northern California, giving us cooler temperatures, and I'm very thankful for that. That's going to get squashed and moved off to the east, and it um, looks like high pressure wants to ridge back in here. But I don't see any dominant pattern out here across the west coast as far as major ridging goes. There's a little bit there in September, but uh, it looks like it wants to scoot over there to the east. You guys can have it. Folks in the Plains, Midwest, you guys can have the heat. <laughs> I'll take the cooler weather. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have a good day. Enjoy your Friday. We'll see you guys back here a little bit later tonight. Take care.